Today, we are doing a bathroom roughin. We're going to cut this cast iron pipe with a carbide tipped blade and replace it with PVC. The vent pipe is in totally fine condition. It's just that there's this weird section where it used to join with the wet vented sink and I just need to replace that section so I'm just going to cut it up pretty high so that, you know, I just have plenty of room to work with uh, the new PVC run. Now, you might have missed this critical this critical mistake I, I, I make here where I remove the pipe but I don't support the remaining piece of pipe hanging in the ceiling. We'll, uh, we'll see that here in just a bit. Meanwhile, I'm ripping out this, uh, this spaghetti junction of uh, pipes here that it was just from years of repairs and some old uh, configurations. But, wait for it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> that was the remaining piece of pipe. That was a, a cast iron pipe that was just hanging in the ceiling, uh, going through the roof. So it was just held up with friction and all of my working around it uh, probably made it fall. Luckily it didn't damage the pipes it hit. I tested it, worked out well. Uh, but now I had to replace the full vent pipe, which goes through the roof and is you know it was sealed up there i don't have good access to that in the attic so what i had to do is i had to use the little hole in the roof stick the pipe up and just caulk the crap out of it with this the sealant stuff uh through the hole with my wife holding up the pole on the bottom uh it was just too i there was no room for the camera i didn't catch the whole thing uh but rest assured it is goofed up there it is inserted into the roof cap it's a, it's just, it's just a full like full covering roof cap, and it is sealed up. I've verified it with rains and storms now, and all is looking great. <laughs> but uh, it was it was the exact thing I was trying to avoid with replacing that section of vent. And uh, lesson learned: support the vent pipe. Oh, that big heavy cast iron vent pipes. Uh, here now. Uh, moving on to the, pro the, the, you know, the actual roughing in, uh, I have an assortment of fittings, uh, a whole assortment of fittings that I got. I, I, there was a few plans I had. I'm like, oh, okay, I could take the pipe this way, or I could take it this way. It could go here at this angle, or I could do this. I'm like, I want to do this, but you know, I might have to do this. So I had, I got all sorts of uh, fittings, and. Uh, just in case I need something to get the job done. Uh, one tricky thing here is that I had to find the angle of that pipe that's just kind of sticking out, it, 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 particularly in relation to the joists, because I'm trying to keep it simple myself and just use like 45s and 90s. Well, that one uh, turns out is about a 30 degree angle. And, uh, <laughs> to, luckily, luckily, uh, while 30 degree angles are not common, 60 degree angles are uh, are relatively common. Or at least my Home Depot carried a 60 degree fitting. Uh, most of the ones I see are 45s, 90s, and 22.5s. So luckily they had a 60 degree angle, and which means 30 degrees plus 60 means 90, means I can get a nice perpendicular uh, <laughs> uh, run, turn uh, uh, of the pipe. So I've, I've, I've committed to a plan at this point. I'm clean, I cleaned up the pipe end that was just in there. I'm rough fitting a coupling, a straight run. Now I'm trying to figure out where I need to add in the 60 degree angle to head towards, head towards the vent. And I've marked it, it, it it's kind of tough. It's, it's honestly, it's, it's pretty tough to figure out the right places. Uh, to cut pipes to get the fittings in there, right? Because it's not you can't just measure the edge of the fitting because the pipe goes in it and You're working this crazy three-dimensional space and Sometimes it just it doesn't work out the way you think it should like just using your like your common uneducated brain sense you're like oh it should do this and then you cut it and you're like wait this is off so uh, it takes a lot of time and planning and 
thinking and rethinking to, to make it all work right. Uh, but that's, uh, that's the trick is just when, when you're doing these sort of projects is, uh, you watch a lot of YouTube, read a lot of articles, uh, search a lot of questions on forums, and then you think about it and you reconsider and then you replan and then you measure five times and then you finally bring in your wife and ask her, Hey, does this make sense? And then she points out, well, what about this? And you're like, oh my God, I didn't even think about that. Thank you. <laughs> and then you know, do it all over again until you're, you know, 90% sure that your plan's going to work. And then you just commit to it. Uh, because at that point, um, you know, you've already thought of it through. And the worst case scenario is you just have to cut some stuff out and just redo it. You're out the expense of the materials and your time, but you know, you learn your lesson and uh, you just go for it. You're only out some time and materials. No shame in mismeasuring, miscutting, all that stuff. So here I am with a crappy little level. Uh, it's fine though. I got it for free somewhere, I think from like I don't know, a television mount or something like that. It works. I have tested it with a more proper level. And I'm like, you know, it works. Uh, it just it doesn't inspire a lot of confidence in me. But it's all I had on hand at the time. So it, I'm just trying to get that quarter inch per foot, you know, slope uh, for these pipes. I'm trying to keep everything up to code. Yeah, and here I am. I think I what did I just do? I think I just added a cap to that pipe because I got some stinky sewer gases coming out of it. So here I am on another day, another shirt. Take off one of the caps, and I'm about to join it up with that vent pipe. Again, it's a lot of measuring, but my plan is already kind of working out pretty well. So it's gonna be fine. Spoiler alert totally fine uh, here we're gonna rough fit some more stuff and what you're gonna see me do is you're gonna see me take a marker and I'm gonna mark a line across all the different fittings so that you know when you reassemble them after taking them apart from the rough fitting that they're lined back up the way you had them when you first rough fit them because with this pipe glue you have like five seconds to correct any misalignments and then you gotta cut it out so that's what I do here I, uh, I draw it I disassemble it then I glue it up lined up with my markers and then we're good to go here I need to change directions I have now roughed in the vent and the shower and I need to do the the sink side so clean up the workstation. Um, always try to keep it tidy when you can. Uh, I'm pretty bad about that, but that's okay. You know, I forgive myself. And here I am going to figure out how to utilize some 45s to angle the pipe run up and over and to the right direction. You know, so I, it takes a while, but you know, so enough fiddling around, you'll you'll finally get it. Uh, at least that's how it works for me. You kind of see me deep burring the pipes there. I cut it, and then I take my little razor blade, I strip out all the burrs. Yeah, I'm a pro. I'm not a pro at all. Absolutely not. There's a proper deburring tool, but I've been too lazy to pick one up. So I use a razor blade. It's fine. It works. You'll see me here in a second. I'm gonna pop my head under the under the the house, and you'll get to see all of the nasty rotted floorboards from some previous water damage and you'll get a better understanding of how all this project really got started in the first place because you know originally i was just trying to fix the cabinet or some pl some basic plumbing but you take apart a, a cabinet door that's falling apart and you realize the floor underneath is bad and that the pipes are leaking and then you realize the rest of the subfloor is all patched up and really weird and wonky and really soft in places when you step on it 
and then you see that the tub is leaking and you see that the cast iron drain lines are also uh, kind of rusting out and, and leaking a little bit and all slopes really weird and you realize you have to redo the entire uh, floor and then you're like okay let me just connect the electrical and you realize the electrical is all frayed out and you realize you have to just redo the entire room so and you don't know if you just caught that that is really super rotted floor right next to there can't really access it it's behind an HVAC uh, closet or under it anyways uh, camera died but you know that's all there is to it I you know I, I strapped it up it's all roughed in and it's ready on ready for the next phase of the project which I swear I'll get to someday uh, thanks for watching